It's a day of dreams for the Mercy House Ministry. WSFA 12 News is partnering with the ministry and its MAP Center for this special telethon. We call it a day of dreams because you can really make some dreams come true and make a difference in folks' lives. All kinds of different ways to donate. We have a phone number you can call. It's pretty simple to do. Just call 613-8283. There are folks right now up bright and early ready to take your calls. And the MAP Center is located in our old building, our WSFA 12 News building. WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis at her old stomping grounds this morning. Bethany, this is a way that we can continue to help and give back to the community. It sure is. It's been about three and a half years since WSFA 12 News moved out of this building and over to Dexter Avenue and then donated this building to Mercy House. But for the 65 years before that, this was our home. This was our community. This place was really special to us. Well, now it's becoming a special place for hundreds, maybe even thousands of other people since the Mercy House took this over and turned it into what it's called now the MAP Center. MAP stands for Ministry About People. Listen now to how the director of this ministry explains how he's changing lives with the building of this old TV station. Well, the Manor House is gonna be, I think, a huge solution to a lot of problems. We're going to be able to help with the pen handling situation that we have in Montgomery. Uh, you can come to the manor house and get food and go out in front of Sam's or one of those busy interchanges and say, hey, I'm going to take 25 meals and everybody out there with a sign, I can take a meal out there and cause them to have a healthy meal if that's, their, if that's the problem. We can solve that. If you're in a small group in the church and got seniors who are coming over at lunch and want to have a place to meet and don't have food, you could come to the manor house and say, hey, can on Wednesday, on the third Wednesday every month, we have 50 young people or 50 seniors in our group. We need some food for them. You can come to the manor house and just order that food, and that's being solved. The Mercy House is feeding sometimes up to 500 people a day. That food will be ordered and served daily through the manor house. So the manor house is gonna be a solution to the food need for our Montgomery region, the river region to hold at a whole. And that was the director of Mercy House Ministry, Ken Austin, explaining the Manor House, which is actually just up the road here. It's on Court Street. It took over the old Corsino's restaurant. I know a lot of people remember that and is turning it into a partnership with notes now at the MAP Center here in the old WSFA 12 News Building to really transform the lives of people, not just in this immediate neighborhood, but the entire community. It makes partnerships with a lot of churches. One of those is St. John's Episcopal Church. This is Reverend Duncan Johnston with them. Talk a little bit about your partnership with Mercy House Ministry and, and how you work together. Thank you. Uh, it's a, such a great privilege to, to be involved in the life and ministry of this place. And uh, uh, I'm so full of admiration uh, for Pastor Ken and for his leadership and his vision over these years. Uh, at St. John's, we're very privileged to have this partnership. Uh, we uh, staff um, the, uh, the Mercy House on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We uh, prepare food uh, for hungry people. Uh, we do that uh, in collaboration with the Ascension Episcopal Church um, in Cloverdale. Um, and uh, we have folks who come down who, who prepare food and, um, and minister to those who, uh, who are in need. Uh, you got it just right, though, when you said transforming lives, because I think the, the great thing about MAP uh, is that it doesn't just meet people's immediate need for food, shelter and other things, but it actually helps them uh, out of poverty uh, into a sustainable life. Uh, and that's why I'm so excited about it, that we're not simply um, putting a Band-Aid over a, a wound. Uh, we are helping uh, people to live long and sustainable, contented lives. Um, and, and that's why I'm so excited about this place. Yeah, that's what today is all about. We're calling it our day of dreams because that's what we're doing here. We've talked all morning about how this is a place to offer hope first, but then it also offers some important life skills and training and direction to allow people to understand what their dreams are to begin with and then to achieve those dreams. And you can be part of the solution that's really making a difference in this community, that's changing this neighborhood and the community. You can give us a call at 613-8283, or you can donate online today. We'll leave that QR code on the bottom of your screen all day long. Just use the camera app on your cell phone to scan it, and that will take you to a website where you can learn more about the ministry and make a donation.
All right, Bethany, good advice. I know some folks may not be as tech savvy, but yes, all you have to do is open that app like you're taking a picture that will scan the QR code. It will take you to our website. Or if you just want to give us a call, those phone lines are open right now, 613-8283. Again, 613-8283 for our Day of Dreams telethon. Every little bit makes a difference.